Hello, people, and welcome back. So, I did a little bit of work off camera since uh, the end of episode 32, and basically, uh, right now, I am about to start mass producing uh, stone burnt so I can make some more of these uh, lava mills. In order to make stone burnt, though, I need to cook some. <sighs> cobblestone, which is a pain in and of itself. Okay, four stone bricks can then be turned into four polished stone, which, if the proper ingredients are supplied <laughs> can then be turned into tons of stone burnt now obviously since this resonator is going to be working for a while I'm considering possibly setting it up where we will have multiple resonators. Okay, this is strange. Why is it not powered? Ah, I see, I see. We actually are now using up more power than we have the ability to produce. Here, it should help if I go and put out another genera another mill. But yes, you see, it doesn't do you any good to have any of these pieces of equipment together if all they do is, um, you know, not work without power. Thankfully, there's a pretty good way to generate this power through the use of renewable resources. And hopefully, Minecraft will always have lava as a renewable re resource. Now, this actually gains more power when the lava itself is flowing. But, I don't really want to work to that setup just yet. Because it's all about just generating the power for right now. Now, I believe if I actually take this ring of jet propulsion off, we should be okay. Okay, Ness, now you see it's using plenty of this energy. Okay, I'm just going to let that build up for a minute uh, while I make another lava mill. Then go out. Put it on the, um... Oh, wait, we're actually going to need another bucket. I just realized. Another bucket of lava. Ooh, boy, I'm going to be running out of lava soon. Hopefully not. So I'll have to make another trip to the nether get more lava. Ooh, wait. Ooh, no. I'm not seeing any lava buckets. This might actually be our last bucket. I believe it is. Yep. Last bucket of lava. And look at me. So selfish, I was almost going to waste it. Uh, also, I have no more use for that. Please stop. Okay. So what could I turn into EMC for this? Hmm. Uh, well... 
Uh, seeing as how I don't think anyone in their right mind would wear this atrocious golden chest plate. Oh, well, would you, um, would, would you, I'll just take another stack of that. Uh, would you look at this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay, yep. Another lava bucket, another lava bucket. Okay, you know, let's speed up the process here. Yeah, see, that's that's why I took the golden chest plate over here. Okay, let me dump some of these buckets back in here. And I'll just keep these two on my person. Okay, we have the ability to make more stone burnt now. Okay, so we have another three portions of a, of a lava mill, meaning, if my calculations are correct, if we have five over there now, we may actually have enough to use the squid ring, which will be very useful. However, I am a bit curious if this will work in the nether. Okay, let me, uh... Okay, so... It says that our, our generators got the capability to generate 16 at a time. So, we're probably going to need that if we want to try and capture a ghast. Which, as I'm sure all of you will know, sounds hard. But in order to capture him first, we're gonna need to be able to get up to him. And that is also a task that is not so easy. I'll, uh, I'll just take these. Okay, not interested in any more lava buckets. Okay, I'm just gonna speed up the process again here. Just, yeah, just, there we go. Okay, we have four more. Yeah, turn all that into gold in a sec. Now, um, let's see if we can, well, actually, hold on. You gotta take this out before using that or else it'll just drain all of your power. Okay. Now, I wonder. Okay, so it prevents me from taking fall damage, and it works when it's not my hotbar. Okay. Okay, never mind, never mind. If the uh, fall damage is too, if it's too high, I won't be able to use it. Okay, this will make traveling through the nether exceptionally easy, in fact. <laughs> now, uh, as I said we were going to do before, let's, actually no, I need to keep these arrows on me. Uh, gold ingots, no, I don't need to be carrying any of this with me in the nether here. So... Actually, 
This could make it a lot easier getting around in the nether. Or, if I ever do find a ghast, I may wind up, um... using that to pull him down. Which, I know is wishful thinking, probably. Oh, interesting. One of my chickens somehow made it down here. Okay. So, there's a blaze spawner. There's a nether fortress. I'm just going to teleport over to the nether fortress. Okay. So, we have an area with nether wart in it. Now, let us see about finding and killing us some shit swizzling. Uh... Where, where the... Where is all the, um... Where is all the monsters? I mean, I normally hear them clink clanking around with them bones. Hearing or seeing them. See, this is part of the reason why I hate the nether. It's so quiet. You never realize that danger is right around the corner waiting to fuck you right in the ass. And I mean, it's it's got the lube and everything. It's just, woo boy. It's like C Nanners in that, uh, C Nanners in his, um, Dead by Daylight gameplay. You know the one. The one he did with Mini Lad. Also, shout out to Scene Anners. You're awesome. Though I doubt you're ever going to see this. Okay, so that's good news. Um, so, guess what? I can, well, I can sort of fly. I'm, I'm not immune to fall damage, though. So that's, that's something I'm going to have to be on the lookout for. And in the m words of Markiplier, Habuski. There we go. Nope, it's... it's. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> shit. I guess I turned my mouse kind of wrong here. Let's head down this way. Okay. There's the sounds of the blaze spawner, but I'm not really interested in a blaze. Why is... I, I, I'm not even going to question why there's an enderman in the nether. Endermen don't belong in the nether. Oh, lag, lag. I'm... <gasps> Ooh. Hello. Oh, damn, we're lagging hard here for some odd reason. A bone, I believe. Yes, it's it's a bone. Well, that's unfortunate. I would really have liked to have a looting enchantment on something around here, but no. <gasps> Another one. Ooh, I think it may have dropped something that I was looking for. Aha! It did! It... Was it just another bone? No, wait, no, it was a stone sword. Damn it! By the way, I heard that ghast. But I don't see the ghast, which is a problem. Maybe stuck on some far-flung fucking roof. Never find it. Yeah, there we go. Let's see here. Yeah, we need essence of evil. That's the only way we'll be able to capture a ghast and be able to fly freely through the air. 
This is all about gearing up. Yeah. Got to be careful with this thing, though, because if you get to thinking you're invincible and you can fly free as a bird, you're out of your friggin' mind and you'll die almost instantly. Like a bitch. I get the feeling the world generation may be a little screwed up around this bridge. Because, I mean, it just comes to a straight-up drop-off, really. Of course, now this is no concern to me. I can just keep on, uh, well, floating. Say I can keep on floating, but uh, in actuality, I don't think I can. Okay, now you see, we're now able to access areas that we normally weren't able to before. Thanks to the use of this ring, it's already paying for itself. And the ones that I have, the one that I plan for, will offer free and unencumbered creative mode style flight. Another, another fortune. Oh, damn. Let's see here. Ooh, we have more. More to explore. Uh, first, I should probably set a waypoint here. Okay. So now, if we die, it'll be extremely easy to know where we were. This is often what I would consider one of the most useful features of, you know, this mod. I mean, <laughs> if you can't figure out where you are, you can have all the gear in the world. Oh, would you look at that? Let's see here. So I came over this way. Maybe I should consider this way? Oh, but what's this? I believe this may be some kind of Batania flower. I'll have to come back and take a look at it. It may be useful. Ow. Come here. Ooh, let's see. It dropped a special type of bone. It's called a wither bone. Hey, with this I can make a better sword. And with that I can be burned. Okay. Good, good. I managed to get out of there unburned. Let's, uh, let's keep going in this generalized direction. Hope I don't get hit behind by a fireball. Okay, and we've, uh, we've reached a, uh, a dead end of fire and death and awfulness. So let's head on up to this level, see if we can find any wither skeletons on this side. I hope to make a sword soon. Oh, wait. I heard... heard the sound of skeletal cracking. <gasps> it's a fire slime!
Okay, so we already have stuff for that. So I'm just going to break that spawner. And keep moving here. Mm -hmm. So I noticed something interesting on that new show, uh, that new season of Love Island. They're actually letting gay and lesbian and bi people, um, you know, go up on the show. And I think that's that's fine. You know, hey, it, it, it's a weird show about people falling in love on some random island. And I'm like, okay, that's pretty weird, but you do whatever you want. Okay. Well, one problem that I do have with this is... You know, there's really no reason for it. Why is it that you have to... It, and you know something, I know you're all saying, Oh, he's, he's, he's sexist against... Some, no, I'm not. I'm not. And I will explain my reasoning as so. Um, so, these people who are all on Love Island, they're all claiming to be either lesbian or gay or bi, but what's the point? You see, you can go on all day about, ooh, well, this person is this or this person is that. But at the end of the day, we're not really interested in, oh, who do they fall in love with? No, what we're interested in as consumers, and don't lie to me, I know you are. We can all see what you buy on Amazon. Our interest as consumers is specifically to get to the fucking point. Getting to the point is part of what we as Americans live for. People getting to the point is part of our dream, even. Okay, so I am about to attempt to reach this ledge. No, you don't. You stay back. Okay. Let's see. Another wither bone. That's good. That's good. We can start making that special dragon bone sword when I get back. And if we're lucky enough to kill some more of them and drop a essence of evil, if one of them could be so kind as to drop an essence of evil for me, please, Notch God of Minecraft, <laughs> let them drop one for me. Just one. I only need one. I can reuse it all I want. Oh, if only I could catch that gas. No, it's... Oh, it's right there, and I can't use it. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh. Oh, shut up! Now... Not to belabor the point, but it, it is a good way of gathering experience to come into these fortresses. Simply because of the... <gasps> there we go. More necrotic bones. Well, actually, no, these are wither bones. Ha 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 ha, very funny gasp, but we all know you can't break... You can't break this. Maybe I'm going to set it on fire with a nearby explosion, but you cannot break. Hmm. Let's go down. I believe I may have already come down here, though. Yeah, I have already come down here. Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. So this episode is once again running a little long. So I am going to cut here, and I will see you all next time.